what's going on everybody for First Week Feast. I'm Sean Evans coming at you from Jeepney Filipino Gastro Pub in the East Village where I'm joined by comedian Joe Coy. Hello. He's a busy guy with a hugely popular stand-up special on Netflix. He's also on Inglorious Pranksters on the LOL Network. He's about to hit the road for a series of sold out shows in Hawaii and the Philippines. And as much as we love Hawaii today, we're all about the Philippines. Joe, I know that you're a Filipino food obsessive in yeah. part because you were raised by a Filipino food obsessive. I saw that <laughs> video of your mom yes. breaking down the spread at that Did you Filipino like that? buffet. Yeah. I loved it. This is made out of the uh, pig's blood with intestine and pork. Intestine. My experience with Filipino food, it's not vast. Yeah. So for someone who knows the ropes, can you set the table for me? It's the best blends of everything in Asia and Spain put together. You know what I mean? We got Spanish influence, we got Indian influence, we got Asian influence. Our barbecue is amazing. You know, there's there's so many different varieties of Filipino dishes. It's amazing that it's not mainstream. That's why I love places like Jeepney that instead of a buffet, they make it a sit down restaurant. All right, here's some of the basic rules when you eat at a Filipino house. You ready? Okay, I knew. One, we don't give a shit if you've eaten already, and we don't care if you're full. You're about to get more full. Second rule, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. There's no knives. We don't cut. Your spoon and your fork are your utensils. Spoon goes in the right hand, fork goes in the left hand. Hold the meat down with your fork, and then pull with your spoon. And that's how you cut. We don't need knives. We use those for weapons. We also have one more rule. <laughs> if you don't have utensils, you just wash your hands. So it goes down on the plate, and then you clasp the rice like, like you're grabbing a teddy bear. Like the And claw. then come up, and then win the prize. Wiener, 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 Filipino dinner. So today what we're doing is just some of the uh, Filipino menu greatest hits. Yes. We'll bring them out. Oh, I love it. Hit me with the first dish. What do we have in front of us, John? You better so, know the name of this right now. Arroz caldo? Yes! Arroz caldo. I think every ethnicity has that one go-to when someone's feeling sick, hungover, whatever the case may be. It's that go-to soup. Yeah. Uh, this is that catch-all. For the people out there, it's a ginger and yes. rice chicken soup topped with bits of fried chicken, chicken skin yep, and yep. chicken. And then you get the side condiments. And Talk and, me through this stuff. Okay, I always did the lemon, so grab a lemon. Squeeze it all in there. Get all the juices. As much citrus as you can. That is your vitamin C, Sean. <laughs> then you grab an egg. You can use your fork or yes. No, here. I'm going Yeah, claw. go ahead. Use it. Use the claw. Do you want to do the garlic with your spoon or do you want to do it with your hands still? You picked up Let's the spoon, do. so Let's I feel like spoon. you're kind of leading the witness there. you there. go. because I know where your hand's been, Sean. <laughs> this, my friend, is called patis. Say it. Patis. Patis. I think every Southeast Asian has a fish sauce, but no one has it like the Filipinos. Is that too much? That, I like that, I like it. I like okay, it. and then I'll do the same. All right, you ready? I'm ready. So take your spoon. Well, actually, you can mix it all together. There you go. Chop up the eggs. Oh my God. I can tell, you know, when you were saying, when yes. you're sick, when you have your back against the ropes, this is the thing that brings you back to life yes. and it very much tastes like that. You yes. know, it's super power. This will save your life. You call in sick, this is this this better be on the stub. If I understand it correctly, this is like the poster child, this is the crown jewel yes. of Filipino yes. food. Is yes. that accurate? I dare anyone to say they don't like Filipino food, and I will drop this bowl right in front of your face. I guarantee you're gonna be like, what was that? I never heard chicken like that before. What's in there? There's so many flavors. Traditionally, it's it's garlic, soy, and uh, vinegar. Right. And chicken. Lots of so you, and, and a lot of oil, a lot of oily fat from the skin. So the broth doesn't look appealing when you make it at home, but when you eat it, you're like, oh my god, that's delicious. And then you can present it like this, and you can actually take a picture of that. <laughs> that's about 400 likes. Hashtag chicken adobo. If we're at a restaurant, people watching us eat, we can do it the proper way, I guess. Grab the spoon and the fork. What holds the what holds the meat down? Yeah, the, the fork. fork. Are you ready? Grab the meat with your fork. Get a nice, you know, well, all right, you're not fighting. You're not fighting the meat. Okay, Just a little okay, touch. Okay, 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 a little touch. Not like this. Like, what are you doing, time? Take the spoon. 
and then just pull oh, the meat right off. Okay, hold on. No, no, leave Look it. That. Leave it. We, you, we so we're gonna to go ahead and shove some of that stuff onto the spoon. Because we want more than just chicken. Yeah, we you want, get want more than chicken. You want everything. Got that? Ooh, that's a nice little portion. Then you put it on your rice. Shovel the rice onto the spoon. Oh my god. Mushrooms. Yes. The chicken, the rice, which always, you know, sponges up that sauce. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite dish. I know I'm gonna say, I'm probably gonna say that about every dish that comes out. I don't think you'll say it about the next one. Oh no, I already know. See, I already know. Just the way you <laughs> delivered that line, I already know what you're gonna do. I mean, it's not cool. I put it in my writer not to do it. And you're I know. It. It's fine. <laughs> it's your show. And you're wild. So, I have a feeling you knew that this was coming. This is... I, I specifically told you not to. We always ignore those sorts of requests. I, I, or if I, anything, I we double and triple down on that. Yeah. So this is balut. 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 There you go. Can you talk through balut for me? It's uh, almost a baby duck. Uh, I mean, every culture has that food item that no one really wants to eat. They talk about it, but everyone... There's someone in the family that enjoys it, but no one else really does. So you've sworn this off. You've had it before. What I you, did it you once. Had like I think a I was real... six. I think I was six when I did it, and I'll never do it again. It's that kind of situation, huh? Yeah, man. We live, you know, we live in a place where we don't need to eat these. <laughs> so why <laughs> do we have it? eggs? Right. We have regular eggs. Let's just eat that. So the big part. So here's the pointy part. Yeah. Put that at the bottom, and then you're gonna smack this part right here. Be careful. Like I said. Okay, one more time. More. Yeah, this one's a fighter. Oh, man, that one. This kid has his backpack on. All right, there you go. <sighs> you ready? I'm not doing this, man. Here, okay, I'll do it. You know what? So you gotta open the top like this. You wanna keep the sauce inside. I don't wanna look. I don't know if yeah, I can well, do it. Well, this is you. Well, you said you are gonna do it. I you're gonna do it. it. Okay. All right, put some salt on there. No. I can't. Put salt. I don't know why you need salt, because you're about to. You're about to drink the f ambiotic fluid. <laughs> Do I just keep it in no, the No, no, you're gonna sip it. You're gonna grab the, oh God, why are you, no, grab the egg. Don't get it on me, I swear to God. And then sip it. Sip, sip, sip. Okay, now boom, back down. Now this little hard thing right there is the nugget. Eat it. Eat that. I'm gonna throw up in your mouth. Okay, okay. I, I do it. Now shove the whole bird in your mouth. I can't, I don't know if I can do that. You have to do it. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can fucking feel feathers. Yeah, it's fighting for its life. I can't do that. One more time. I can't do it. I, I wouldn't do it. It's just too real. I wouldn't do it. I told you not to. I put it in the rider. Don't do balut. And then you thought it was funny. So here, enjoy. Laugh. All right, so we're bringing things home with some hollow hollow, which is our dessert dish today. And then this particular dish, it's like a shaved ice thing, super sweet and a total blank canvas. And on this one in particular, it looks like we pulled no punches. Yeah, this one uh, is the mecca right here. Down at the bottom, we got fondant. We got jackfruit, red beans, young coconut, the shaved ice, evaporated milk is what gives it that consistency. And that's leche blanc, ube ice cream, which is purple yam, yeah. rice krispies. And that's about it. This is what you want to do. You ready? Yeah, yeah, Take yeah. the spoon and you want to just do this. Bring the stuff all up to the surface. There you go. Yes. Well, slow down. I'm, I'm very cement mixer. Yeah. Ready, go. And it takes so long to eat it that it starts to melt down into like this really yummy tight milkshake. Hence the reason why this turns into a straw. This is a brilliant utensil yeah. right here. Yeah. For those that don't see it, it's a, it's spoon a straw, straw spoon, or which a spoon is, straw. It or a straw. Oh. From your perspective, from somebody who travels all over the country, from somebody who lives in LA, who comes to New York, do you think that Filipino food is primed for some sort of mainstream crossover? It's, it's time. I, I always felt in my heart that it's been time. Like you just saw, like you just witnessed, the three things that we did before was just amazing. And I can see that on any menu. Uh, anywhere across the United States and, and people will enjoy it. We can go to Nashville right now and I swear to God, there'll be a cowboy going, can I get some more of that chicken adobe? <laughs>
All right, well, there you have it. It's Filipino Food 101 from Joe Coy. And if it comes from Joe, you know it's gospel. If you want to see him, he's going on tour. It's the Break the Mold Tour, and you can get tickets at joecoy.com. Love see you. See how I did that? Yeah, that's nice. And then you can catch his show and Glorious Pranksters on the LOL Network. Netflix special, gotta watch it. Very funny. For First We Feast, you already know. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. This is Sean Evans, signing off. Mm-hmm.